Hey, what's up YouTube? Sorry, just getting the camera right. Um, so I just wanted to make a video about um, the Carter 5, considering it's massive hype. It was released 14 hours ago. It's like 2.30 Eastern, so it's been out for a while. Um, I listened to it without looking at what the internet thought first. I did it this morning, I actually made a reaction video. Unfortunately, got taken out because of copyright, which I just think is funny because it's not like I'm playing crystal clear quality audio anyway. If somebody, if somebody even wanted to rip the song, they wouldn't be able to. But So I got to learn, I guess I either got to put that little copyright notice uh, or link the, the, the album in like Spotify in the, um, in the description. But to the point, so Carter 5, I listened to it. It's cool. I mean, there's good parts on it, but in my opinion, like, I don't, I think it's underwhelming. I'm amazed at what I'm seeing on Twitter and the internet in general. People are just like freaking out about it. Like, it's so good. And I mean, I think it's like any other good album. I mean, there's great songs on it. The beginning's amazing, super heavy. You know, the intro by his mom and very emotional and super emotional, actually. And that's also interesting because it's unique. It's, Usually, I mean, rappers have done that, Drake, and like some other rappers have done that lately, but it's usually towards the end or the end of the album. Kendrick's had his family too on albums, so that was interesting. He started the album with his mom, and she was crying and stuff, uh, and then goes right into the album, the, the cut with XX Tension, RIP, he died tragically earlier this year, of course, and uh, that's a heavy song <laughs> for sure. So, very heavy start. But, you know, in the rest of the album, I just feel like there's a lot of cuts, like, that are kind of, like, filler. Like, a lot of relationship songs. And I hate to say it, but maybe a little, like, revival. Like, Eminem's album last year. Like, just a lot a lot of that. I mean, there's definitely some so strong songs that like you got with the, the Kendrick Lamar feature on Mona Lisa. That track's sick. I mean, I love that song. Demons was interesting. Very, like, simpler sounding beat. or And then he just... Wayne comes in like flowing really fast and that that was cool Demons was an interesting track and um, there's another one with a really good beat at the end but overall I'm just underwhelmed and and I just wanted to put it out there amazed at how everybody's liking the album it's like it's it's almost more like a thank you for releasing it rather than it's actually good I'm curious what the reviews are going to be like of course the reviews from magazines and whatever are very different than the fans you know opinion but still i'm just curious because it's i mean if you my my point is if you saw what twitter thought you'd be like <clears throat> wow this album must be crazy good and then when you hear it like i i just find it hard to believe that someone would like think it matches what is being described that's what i'm trying to say again it's a good album i wish i had my actual reaction here uh when i was hearing it Oh, another thing that was just like a WTF moment. Like, okay, one song with Snoop, he literally samples Explosive off Dr. Dre's 2001 album that came out in 99. So that was almost two decades ago. No, that's really not the point. The song's cool. The, the, the Explosive is a great song, but it's the way he sampled it. Like, it's, I guess since I'm a huge fan of that album, I know that song so well like that it's almost like he didn't even sample it he just took that song and put it and for a mixtape okay sure but like for your album especially the Carter 5 you're gonna take a Dr. Dre song lit and basically copy paste it onto your album like and I know he he messed with it a lot and it's an original song like Snoop's on it Snoop does sound cool over it and Wayne of course raps you know original lyrics on it but it's just to me, that, that kind of like really, that was not, I didn't think that was very cool. And I'm not just singling out Wayne, Lil Wayne. Eminem had a horrible sample last year by Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll, on his Remind Me song. He just like skewered, Rick Rubin skewered that sample. It's just, it's just not a good song. But anyway, I didn't like that either. But there are some strong tracks, as I mentioned uh, off the top of my head. It's, uh, I honestly don't know the names. Don't Cry. The intro is well, it's a skit, but that's that's powerful. Um, honestly, don't know all the tracks yet because I, I just listened to it once. Uh, there's a song with Ashante that's really cool. Uh, oh, Mona Lisa, of course, with Kendrick Lamar, great song. Uh, and the song with Existencion, just don't cry. Anyway, just want to give my thoughts. Thanks for watching. This is UF Trapperholic. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. I want to try to do more album reactions or or at least reviews, you know, because of the copyright thing. Um, 
and then uh, hit a like if you enjoyed the video dislike if you didn't like it and uh, leave a comment if you like again thanks for watching and have a great weekend